what's up everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Do you not like where you currently live? Cause whether you're bored from the small town you grew up in, or sick and tired of the stressful big city grime, a medium sized city might be the perfect place for you. I mean, mid sized cities are much more exciting than their smaller counterparts with plenty of big city amenities but they also lack a lot of the problems the most of the big cities have. For many Americans, they're the perfect balance. Now, of course, small cities are also incredibly popular, especially with working from home becoming the norm. So I'll be also doing the top 10 best small cities for 2021. Speaking of which, since there's no definitive way to determine the city's true size, the criteria that I've been using is big cities have metro populations over 3 million residents, medium-sized cities have metro populations between 1.5 and, and 3 million, and then small cities have metro populations between 500,000 and 1.5 million. And I ranked each place according to their economy, safety, cost of living, schools, amenities, and overall quality of life. These are the top 10 best medium-sized cities to live in for 2021 Part 1. Number 10. Sacramento, California. Sacramento often gets overlooked for the bigger and more exciting West Coast cities, but even though it's a bit smaller, California's capital still has a ton to offer, with a newly revitalized downtown area, some of the best farm-to-table restaurants, and lots of history, art, museums, conventions, farmers markets, parks, and fun bars throughout the many neighborhoods. Plus, it's the cheapest major West Coast city. Of course, cheap for California is still pretty expensive compared to the rest of the country, though, with high taxes and a median home value of 417 grand. But since Sacramento's in California, it also means that there are plenty of good jobs with wages having increased by 12.4% over the past three years to a median household income of $77,000. Which makes Sucktown one of the best places to, in the state to live and save money. And it also is a great place to raise a family, as there is amazing weather, crime is relatively low, and the city is centrally located to so much beautiful nature. Being only a 90-minute drive to the ocean or San Francisco, and less than two hours to the mountains and Lake Tahoe. Number 9. San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio is technically the seventh largest city by population, with 1.58 million people living in the city limits. But that's mostly due to how the spread out the city is, as it's incredibly suburban and even San Antonians will tell you, this is the small town at heart. The residents are genuinely kind and take time to stop and talk, which is why the crime rate that's more than double the national average is quite surprising. It isn't stopping people from moving here, however, as the metro population continues to grow by 1.5% each year, most likely due to how great schools are, weather, and affordability, with a median home value of just $208,000. In addition, there be no state income tax. But speaking of income, the median household income here is only $62,300, which is well below both the Texas and the national average. Wages did increase by 6.74% last year, though, so at least there's that. But while San Antonio certainly isn't the most exciting city, it does still have a ton of big city amenities, including amusement parks, zoo, great tax makes, fun nightlife, NBA basketball, and treating history as the Alamo, and of course, the Riverwalk. 
Number eight. Jacksonville, Florida. If you thought San Antonio was spread out, just wait until you see Jacksonville. The city limits spam 875 square miles, making it the largest U.S. city by total area in the contiguous United States. And the metro area is spread out even further. The, sp the urban sprawl makes Jacksonville feel less like a true city and more like a collection of small cities and towns. But that just give it, gives it more space to operate the largest urban park system in the country. Not to mention, Jacksonville's close to so many beautiful beaches and has amazing seafood, fun museums, and a thriving art scene. The main draw to the city, however, is affordability and jobs. While most other Florida cities usually have low wages and aren't exactly cheap anymore, Jacksonville's median household income of $66,000 grew by 7.5% just this past year, and the median home value is still just $221,000. The unemployment rate is also a staggering low 3.7%, and did I mention there is no state income tax? Number 7. San Jose, California While Jacksonville has great job opportunities for Florida, San Jose has the best job opportunities in the country. With a median household income of $121,000 being nearly double the national average. But Vic... High wages don't matter if a place is ridiculously expensive. And sure, it is kind of ironic how it was once just a sprawling farmland is now one of the most sought-after and expensive housing markets with a median home value at a whopping $1.163 million. But considering that the poverty rate of 8.7% is the lowest of any major U.S. city... I'd say most residents are doing just fine, especially since wages have grown by nearly 12% over the past three years. But while the jobs are great, there's also pretty much the only thing the city offers. Sure, there are some restaurants and nightlife in Santana Row, Campbell, and a small downtown area, but if you're looking for real fun or culture, you'll need to wait in terrible traffic on your way to either Oakland or San Francisco. San Jose is a great place for families, though, as there's basically no crime, the weather is nice year-round, and while the public school system is terrible, private schools are some of the best. Number 6 Columbus, Ohio. While most of the Rust Belt has been re really struggling, with cities like Cleveland or Detroit having poverty rates well over 30%, Columbus is thriving. There are tons of new developments, and the job market is among the fastest growing in the nation with an incredibly diverse economy and strong startup scene, leading to a median household income of $67,200 and an unemployment rate of just 5.4%. And despite the na nationwide housing shortage, Columbus still has plenty of affordable homes available with a median home cost of just $197,000 making it one of the best bang-for-your-buck cities. Especially since there's so much to do with an excellent art scene, top-notch museums, fun nightlife, professional and college sports, and incredible food. There are seriously so many fun and unique neighborhoods here, each with their own unique culture and cuisine such as the Short North Art District, Uptown, and Drummond and Village. But Columbus isn't just for the younger crowd. 
It's also good for families with above average schools, low crime, friendly residents, and beautiful parks and nature preserves. Oh yeah, and there's basically no traffic. Alright, so this was the first part of this list. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon guys. Peace out and goodbye.